guys, what's up? And welcome back to my second channel. So today we're gonna do another wig review. This wig is from Cost Wigs, and if you watched prior wig reviews on my main channel, I have reviewed Cost Wigs before, so I have a little bit of a standard in mind as to the quality. So when you open the box, there's this paper that I ripped through because I'm impatient. Then there's a little informational pamphlet on how to use wigs. There's a wig cap. There's a comb and brush for baby hairs. There's a wide tooth comb. And there are these thingies that I'm assuming you use for curling. I'm the worst. And then and there's the wig and under it there's a bag to put the wig in. So as I said prior, I'm gonna be trying to match my eyeshadow to my wigs. I like doing that, so obviously it doesn't really match this wig, but I'm gonna show you my eyeshadow now so you can guess what color the wig's gonna be. So I use the Tati Beauty palette. This is what my eye look is like. Wow, I feel really insecure being that close up. Goodbye. So this is what the wig looks like. I absolutely adore this burgundy. I really adore this color because it screams fall to me and I actually used to have my hair this color a while back in my youth. I think it's a color that goes well on every single skin tone. I feel like it's just so flattering on everyone. It's a lace front. As you can see, there already is a bit of a parting, though I'll probably make that a little bit more intense. On the inside, like every other lace front, there are clips, then there are the adjustments down here. I'm gonna cut off the lace and try it on and just see what it looks like straight from the box. Okay, so this is what the wig looks like if I put it just straight onto my head. One thing I do like is that it sits flat, like I don't find it too voluminous up here, which typically is one of the things that bothers me because as much as you can cut hair off from the top or thin it out, I'm always worried that it'll show the cap. So the fact that it lays flat here is great. I have to say this is too much. There's too much hair. Like this makes me feel like, you know, a setter, an Irish setter. I'll put a picture here. You know, like it just makes me feel like an Irish setter and Irish setters are cute, but I also don't want to feel like I'm a dog with these big fluffy long tails that are bothering me. And so what I'm going to do is I'm going to thin all of this out. I'm going to remove a good deal of hair and the waves aren't ugly, but they're a little too cylindrical. So I think by thinning it out, it'll also help the waves hopefully become a little less synthetic looking, but I really do love this color. I said it works on all complexions, but I don't know how good it looks on my particular skin tone and facial structure. I'm not sure. I mean, I like the color, but it's hard to tell in the viewfinder. Anyway, I'm gonna thin this out. I'm gonna do my thing. I'm gonna change it up and hopefully make it look as natural as a wig this color can look. Okay guys, so this is what the wig looks like now. I have to say, first and foremost, one of the main things I noticed that I'm a super, super fan of, and I know I mentioned it prior, was how flat it sits on the top of my head, but I am absolutely in love with how flat it sits on the top of my head, which sounds weird to say, but I really don't like when there's too much volume up here because then things look automatically far more wiggy. So I have to say, out of all the wigs I've reviewed, this is by far one of my favorites simply because of this. Aside from that, I really enjoy this color. I think it's really rich and really pretty. I have all the hair in front of me here, so this is all the hair there is. So I don't know if you can tell, but I did remove quite a bit of it. I'll show you what it looks like in the back. So this is what it looks like in the back. It reaches almost the end of my back. Aside from that, this wig, I feel like I had to remove way, 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 way more hair. Like the trash bag I have full of the hair because of thinning out this wig, obviously, was far more than other wigs. And I think it's also because of the cylindrical curls. I felt like I had to remove more because the cylindrical curls gave way more volume than I wanted. So I straightened it slightly, not entirely because I wanted to leave it 
you know, I didn't want it to be pin straight and look entirely fake, but at the same time, I also didn't want the curls to be super cylindrical because it looks very synthetic. So I found a middle ground. I just passed the straightener quickly on it, so I didn't really do all that much. I did cut a little bit here to frame my face a little bit, just so it's not all long. Overall, I like how the eye makeup pairs with the wig. You guys can let me know what you think about that. I'm absolutely in love with this wig. I really think this is one of my hands down favorites that I own, which is saying a lot. Anyways, guys, let me know what you think in the comments down below. Let me know what you'd like to see on this channel and I'll catch you guys next time.